Hi, welcome back to the Dog Fam. This is Slave Color. I'm Scarlett, and the lovely Mrs. will be joining as my assistant. Hey, Mrs. Dog Cole. Fam. <laughs> Yay, it's been, a, it's been a minute, so I'm really excited to see everyone that shows up. Yeah, again, on our live. There we go. Yeah, hit the volume of mine. <laughs> oh, JJ! Hi. Hey, JJ! Up. Can you get going on this? Yes, I will. We are using Stone Coat's Yay. Art Coat. Today, our Stone Coat arrived yesterday, so. Look at that bottle. <laughs> Show it in the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, you forgot it. There. Now you can see if they can see. Stone coat, art coat, countertops, art coat. Yep, perfect. <gasps> Bam! Oh, uh -huh. Hey, Bam! You look so cool! Doris is here. <gasps> Doris! Hey! What are we doing, eight? Yeah, so another four. Or, actually, look. Take it to eight. Wait, wait, is it because of sticks in there? Yeah, and I added mm. some already. Oh, because I was like, well, get the stick out because you can't get accurate measurement with the sticks in there. <laughs> Sharon from Other Artisan is here. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Careful, careful, careful. Slow that up, baby. That's heavy. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Get in there. Here. You do this, and I'll do this. Wipe your finger. Right, so today we're going to try to do an ocean pour, which I've never done, um, with normal, like a normal just like by myself. I did it for a collab, which I should have actually put the link to. Ooh, laying a new floor. Vamp. Ooh. Laying a new floor. Oh, okay. The projects don't stop with you, Vamp. <laughs> That's good though. It keeps your mind busy, keeps your body busy in a good way. Um, but I did do a, I was saying I did a collaboration. My first uh, beach pour ever was a collaboration with Just Paint Petra. And um, so I thought I'd try another one. Um... So, I do have right here penciled out. Did you say all the things for that? Stone coat? I did. Stone coat's one to one. So, we're doing uh, four ounces of hardener and four ounces of resin. We're mm -hmm. scraping, which you're Eight not ounces. scraping and at I'm, all. You just missed my first scrape. I'm, you're scraping the same. Turn your cups. Okay. Thank this you. This is my art. Thank you. Yeah. And it needs to be right. <laughs> hey, Clara. Glad you could make it. Hope your Wi-Fi helps us <laughs> stick uh, around. Yeah. So glad we have everybody. And just so you guys know, we are doing a fire sale this Saturday. Oh yes, this Saturday. Need the mods there. Poor thing will work. Um, we are going to be doing a fire sale between starting between two and four p.m. because I do have a little one. And all that jazz. And then we have to get ready because otherwise our little baby would be all over the stuff. So just bear that in mind. I can't give you a specific, specific start date. It'll be no different than our lives. Between 2 and 4 p.m., I always post on my Facebook. So make sure you uh, put a request on my Facebook. Follow me. So that way you can see when I say we're starting up. All right. Thank you, Miss Doris. Bye, Vamp. Thank you, Doris. All I see is bye, Vamp. I don't know where she went. <laughs> Yeah. If jump I off. have to jump off. Oh, okay. I saw by vamp and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> if she has to, I didn't see the eat. Alright, cool. So today is uh Wednesday. Spon oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> today's sponsored uh by the lovely Just Paint. I'm going to be using Just Paint's colors and if you in my description box below are all the links to if the US store as well as um anywhere US and Canada I believe and then anywhere else in Europe or wherever is uh 
you contact uh, Patreon at Just Paint directly. Um, so it's all in my description box below. If you just scroll to my links, you will see it. But I'm going to be doing so three um, colors: Golden Beach. I'm going to be using Golden Beach. There we go. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And Old Gold. There. Karen Presley's here. <gasps> Hi, Karen. Hi. Welcome, Doc Fan. Okay, and then Sequoia. So I'm going to be mixing some of these. I'm going to be using by themselves. And then the Sequoia I'm going to mix in with Golden Beach. And I may mix a little bit of the Old Golden Golden Beach together. But this is going to be a process. So basically this is my sky. This is my water. And this, I don't know if you can see the little pencil line I drew. The Mrs. Drew. But, um, and this is, this is all sand. But this is going to be like a above layer, which will probably get disappeared, but it still gives me an idea of color skew. Um, and so, so yeah, so this is the shoreline. Hi, Ann Richards. <gasps> hi, Ann. Hi. Welcome, Doc Fan. I'm super excited to see everyone. We missed you guys. We missed you super much. Such Okay. So I'm going to be putting these powders out. Definitely don't bring it, breathe mica in. This is like mica powder, so. Um, these are so full you can't help but get like a ginormous amount. I don't know if you guys can see what, really what I'm doing. But you don't need that ginormous amount. They're just, these are the samples, by the way, that I have. Um, they come in, they're going to come in big bags and you can get two different sizes, I believe. So just know these are, it's just the sample size that I have and you uh, the bags will have a lot more maybe about the same amount or a lot more but this definitely the powders are made locked. by just paint by Petra yes and it's in my description link below if you go to my links on my channel of what I use scroll down they'll have the US for the US as well and Canada I believe it's together and then anywhere else in the world is for Petra's her style So, it's hard, like I said, not to get, I'm not getting a lot. This is the Golden Beach. I'm going to be mixing this with uh, thank you for putting that up Doris just paints pigment line information to order US and Canada great yeah and then for the Europe that you have her her email to contact her that's wonderful is also on there if you saw them at the mm -hmm. bottom the rest of the world it says <laughs> Europe and the rest of the world I like that it's funny okay is that ready it is wonderful all right, so this is going to be the first pour is going to be separated in three parts, just so you know. So I'm going to be working on the sand today, and then I'll do the sky, and then I'll do the ocean, and that'll be all one first pour, but it is going to be broken up in three parts just so my stuff doesn't get muddied. And I've learned that to be, I know it's time consuming or may seem lengthy or whatever, but for myself, being new to doing an ocean pour, my only one I did was... That collab, like I said, and I learned a lot, a lot on that one about patience and needing to, you know, take the time to separate sometimes. So, my initial pour, I'm going to do because, as well, because if I had like quick coat, like something that cured faster, then maybe I can move on to the next, the next, and maybe that's some of the ocean pours I have seen people use like quicker stuff. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing this this way. Vamp says, ooh, a sky and ocean. Mm -hmm. Love it already. And sand. And sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. And I'll need, a, I'll need to see how this mixes with the color itself because um, until I can figure that out, the shading, we'll see. Okay. So I mixed 
uh, a sequoia and golden beach in, in one cup, a little bit of each. And then I have a separate cup of golden beach and a separate cup of old gold. And here we go. I'm going to find some. And the reason I'm putting the powder in first um, on this is because uh, I like to, if I can remember, to put the powders in first so that way it doesn't plume up when, if I have my resin pre put in and then, and I've done this for a while so I know I have a good guesstimate of what I can, what the 10% ratio of paint or powder pigment to resin is you definitely want to stay on that line, but I am familiar so I know where I can get away with. Hey, Carol. Pushing you, it for that reason so it doesn't plume up. Hi, Carol. Hi. Are you, home? Home? Are you home from the hospital yet? I thought she's been. I wasn't sure. I thought she was, and she was just didn't like not doing well because of the being sick and stuff from the medicines, remember? I thought she was. Maybe she's at the hospital the whole time. Carol, I love to hear from the mom. All right, you want to stir, baby? I'd love to. Okay. Slow and steady because it's powder. At the, you know, you still want to be mindful of your stirring. But I really like a lot of, um, I think I only have one of, of the color line right now, just paints. All of them are, are really shimmer. There are a lot of shimmer sparkle. They sparkle really a lot, so... I, I think only one's a matte, technically, and it was a white one, because there's three whites that I have of these, and I think only one of them is, like, not shiny and sparkly, so. She says, yes, yeah, she came home Monday. Okay. Mm. Hey, Joe Fish. Welcome home. That was just yesterday. Oh, my gosh, this whole time I thought you were in the hospital. Day before, I mean, I'm, day before yesterday. Oh, yeah, today's Wednesday. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Joe Fish is here. <gasps> Joe, hi, welcome. <laughs> it's so cool to see you. Yay. We missed our DOC fam. We did. We missed you. But the cool thing is we did get a lot of things we need to get done. So there's always lots of things. But, but yeah, so I appreciate it, everyone. I appreciate you letting us do that and your patience and and watching my little my videos that I had to post up. I struggled yesterday to try to get I I mean all night and all day long trying to get the process to get the video uploaded. It just wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't. So I had to do redo another one. I had to record and post and edit. I mean and post all one blurble. By the time that was all done, it was like wee hours of the morning. So that was kind of crazy. Joe said she missed us too. Okay, I want to see this color. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Might need a little more brown. We'll see. I think I'll add some, and then I'll add a little more brown towards this, you know, part. Want to switch and get your picture up? Right. Hmm? What do you mean switch? Your phone? Oh, in a moment. I'm just trying to mix my color. Ooh, look at it. There's a lot. Yeah. Carol says she's still in a lot of pain though working on this. Hope I didn't sound out of it while I was talking to y'all. Oh no, you didn't. No, no, not at all. I'm so sorry you're in pain. It's gonna be a minute of that, unfortunately. So just try to try to keep up on those pain medication correctly, so that way you don't have to catch up on pain. Yep, nothing like chasing the pain dragon. That's no fun. Joe Fish says she's over here taping coasters again. <gasps> My finger. Uh, I only, it's like the band aid needs to be higher up for cushion on that part. It's like I need a big ginormous band aid. Yeah, 76 more to go. 76 what? Coasters? Coasters to oh tape. Oh gosh. I don't know why you tape those coasters. Wait, what do you mean tape? Don't say that to people. What do you mean tape? Like, um, 
You're gonna you're about to pour on seventy six total. She's taping the backs of them to pour. Uh huh. Okay. Dang, that's a lot of coasters. Are you doing a show or something, Joe Fish? Or you have an order to do that many? I hate cleaning the backs, Ramp. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I don't know. Cap. Did you hear that? Yeah. She got an order, Joe Fish got an order for a hundred coasters for a photographer in town. Ooh. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. That is awesome. Sorry, I was like thinking at the same time. Congratulations. That. That's great. That is awesome. Yeah. Tape away. Come on. Okay. <laughs> so... Now I'm going to switch. The car is just going to be the only one being able to read you guys. Because so i got to switch to the picture. <gasps> Hi, Jewel Cross. Hi, Miss Kennedy. I'll say, Carrie, I'll say Kennedy instead of Carrie because that's my wife's name. <laughs> Welcome. Or maybe I'll just call you Jewel Cross. That's cool. <laughs> I knew a girl named Kennedy once. You still do. <laughs> okay. So, Kennedy says it's not happening. I'm just not able to do that many. She got this is my that. reference photo. That I'm using. That'll help you guys. So there's the ocean. And so, that's the reference photo I'm going to use. To try to do the yell. <laughs> try to not blind you with the little lighties. <laughs> okay. So because now I'm going to do the highlights over here. Gotta talk to people, baby. Because I can't read. <laughs> so if you read and talk to them, then we got conversation. I have to ask is everyone here subscribed to my channel? I'm like 10 away from 800. Who? Doris. Doris, you're 10 away from 800? Cool. I'm pretty sure everybody here would be, well, I don't know about the newcomers coming in, but I would assume. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can need to read that. Let's see. Um, what? There's a lot. Congrats, Doris. I don't think I am, Karen Presley says, but I will. Karen Presley. <gasps> Hi, Karen. I didn't know that was that. Hi, Karen. Hi. Oh, you know. <laughs> Miss Doris, do you want to be our painted forward for today? Again? <laughs> I think you're used to that. Okay, you can click on you. We didn't pick one today, so if you want to be the painted forward. We haven't done a painted forward today, so if if you're in this feed and you're not subscribed to Miss Doris at DF Designs. DF at, uh, yeah, Doris at DF Designs, yeah. Please click on her pretty little DF and go subscribe because this woman is amazing. We already own three of her pieces and she's definitely worth watching. So we'd like to help her get over her 800 if we can. All right, we'll check you out later, Vamp. Bye, Vamp. <laughs>
So Doris, we'll give you our paint it forward today. <sighs> She's putting you to channel up. Oh, cool. She says, thank you very much, ladies. Mm hmm Of course. Yeah. Next time I ask, though. Okay. Robin's parent nest is here. Sharon says, hope you get over Hi, Robin! Hi! Sorry, I'm caught the trace. So sometimes I hear in the back of my head what you say, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> my bad. Hey, Judy. Hi, Miss Judy. Hi. We do have a tendency to get people over their goals, so. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Love that. Judy's here. Yeah, I know. I said hi. Thank you. Sharon, Joe Fish, Clara's back. Yay! Clara! Oh, that's a beautiful color. It's like perfect for that skylight. A little highlight part, you know? Mm-hmm. Sweet. Had a delivery and the dogs were going bananas. <laughs> that itching like crazy. <coughs> bless you, bless you. Okay. Who was Claire in the water? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I've heard this dog. I could get hear excited. It. Oh, mm. excuse me. Carol says, well, I did one with them in Australia. I took a class with ATD, and it was so much fun. I learned heaps. Never used resin before then. Now I can't stop using it. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, I love, I love doing classes with ATD. Mm-hmm. So fun. I go and hang out and watch Maddox while Scarlet art. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Claire, you have a baby bat? A real baby bat? That's what Sharon from Urban Artisan says. Oh, Sharon has the baby bat? Sharon from Urban Artisan says, Clara, I can't believe you have a baby bat. And then Clara says, no bat. Oh. <laughs> no bat. We're going to start a rumor that Clara has a baby bat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Have you guys heard the news? Clara has a baby bat. <laughs> <laughs> Judy says, favorite art piece. Scarlett has one, as does Petra, Clara, and Erica. What do you mean? I don't understand, Judy. My fairy art mother. I love saying that. <laughs> Mm 
I'm assuming, I'm assuming you're talking about that owl one. Right. Sharon says, Sharon says, LMAO, sorry for Clara for starting a rumor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to post that on Facebook. Like, have you seen Clara's new bat? <laughs> it looks like a horse. It looks like a horse. Or... <laughs> Karen says, I watch all the bat videos from Australia, LOL. Oh, I love bat videos. They're Scar so fun. Scarlett loves bats. She has a little mm -hmm. batty hanging from her rear room mirror. Uh-huh. I've had them since I was 15 or 16 years old. My little batty. has been in every car I've owned in that position. Scarlett looking good already, says Carol. Oh, bless you, Carol. Thank you. Hey, Diane. How was Miss Cost today? Carrie yesterday, let's see, this is from Anne. Carrie yesterday when E did the big geo, I asked her how she would hang it. She said, You said something about an offset. Yes. Standoffs. I sell. Is that what I mean? I sell standoffs. And they are. Well, that'd be perfect for that. That geo was so rad. Similar. What she did. To this right here behind me. This is how we hang. You pick it up and make it go closer, so they can see. There. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oops. What? What? I'm just off. So similar to these here. This is how we hang our. Helps with you if the camera itself. This is how we hang our um, acrylic rounds, also. We sell them. Um, sorry, that shot up my nose. It was <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> 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 um, So, how thick is your geode? They're called standoffs. And they'll hold up to a half inch thick. They're adjustable. I do. Um, it's called a hangman. That screws into the back of the piece. It's what we hang all of our flat panels. So. They are 75, 75 uh, for a pack of four or $22 a piece. Plus shipping and handling. Plus shipping. And I do have them in stock. Well, oh, no, it's a text you to She's not ready yet. Ah. Yeah, the the what Doris is talking about, it's called a fridge queen made by Hangman. You can get those at Lowe's. Sharon, those are from Lowe's. They're self leveling, they're great. Yeah, we use this for the back of our MDF solids. 
Yes, and they are they are expensive, but they're definitely worth it. Well, yeah, because the way it, because you don't have to drill through your piece. Yeah, and it holds a lot of weight. <laughs> you know, securely, you know it's secure. But you see this 20 inch round here only has two of them. So. So for anyone who just entered again, this is the picture I'm uh, doing us off of. So I got the shoreline, the sky, and the sand. And right now, today, we're just going to be working on the first layer. Sorry, everybody. I'm getting me dizzy. The first layer of the... Um, Sand poor part. Just getting. Yeah, they're twenty two dollars a piece. What um? How thick is the piece you're trying to hang? Because the nice thing is, is it'll hold anything from quarter inch to half inch and it's adjustable so it'll clamp down nice and tight on your piece. Okay. And that gives you, for a future item, it gives you the variability depending on, oh no, I only have the quarter inch size ones. Well these, you can adjust for that. So if you did something that was over a quarter inch or if it was three eighths and you didn't have the three eighths ones, you'd have to buy another set. So that's why I like to only keep these in stock because you can use all thicknesses. Get rid of that speck. Get rid of that speck. <laughs> oh, that's a good color. Yeah, it's a mixture of the two. This is that mixture I was talking about of the sequoia with the beach, golden beach. But I swear by them. I've been hanging my fuse glass with these things, these standoffs for years. And I have yet to lose a piece. I've been dying to do this for the... Um, the gold beach part, like use this because... Uh, when you know, but I couldn't use them because of the color that each pour did. Ha you had to, I had to stick with the specific color scheme, so that um, what do you call it? Um, what do you call that? Uh, okay. What do you call what I did? Your collab. collab? Yeah, collab. So I had to do a specific color scheme. So I couldn't use this, and I wanted to so badly use this for a shore sand, you know, for a beach. No. Yeah. You know, otherwise, the struggle with these beautiful acrylic rounds is you don't want to have to drill a hole in it or risk having to risk it breaking when you're drilling a hole in it. And they just grab the edges. And they're so easy to put up. They go into drywall or they go into studs. Super easy. So.
I just sold some to a couple DOC fans. So if you need anything, let me know. Or if you have any other questions, let me know. Bye, Clara. Thanks for coming in. We love you. She said her hubby needs her help. Mm, for sure. I always want to call her Miss Clarabelle. A little bit of dark shading, but not much. Yeah, I put too much on this there. JJ says he'll be right back. Okay, thank you. So I just added a little more powder to the sequoia to darken it a little more. Now that I know what kind of shade I want, I can make it more, a little bit solid, more solid. What kind of substrate is your triptych on, Anne? She has a question if we have any wisdom and share to share in hanging a triptych because we just hung one and I used the hangman. We used, yeah, that's what we used. But it was a, it was a flat, for example, like the ones I did with uh, the Arts products that's also in my description box below linked um, are the cradle boards that I love. These, move your head, baby. You can't see my hand. Yeah, so these type of cradle boards where you can go all the way around, um, there's a lip to hang with drywall. They're pretty light, and so if you show the inside, show the inside there so people can see. So this inner lip is where you take the drywall hook and just hang it any which way. So you can, and you could do those, they make, he makes rectangles. I had him do custom for myself. And, um, and, um, too much galley canvas. Sorry, I can't think and do this, um, at all. <laughs> um, or if you have it where it's just a solid MDF board, you could use what I do, which is, what do you call them, baby? Clean something. What did you just call them? Hangman. Is that what they call the solid ones that we put on? The uh -huh. backs? Uh -huh. So I've done, I have that, so. Too much gallery canvas. I would use on too much gallery canvas if you've got, you can use those hangmen on those canvases so long as you can screw into the, the wood. You should be fine.
and then to hang then to hang these cradle boards that we're talking about that you get from ATD or Vela Via, Via Art Products. Art yeah, products. Um, both the links are in my description box below. ATT, ATT, <laughs> ATD, as well as Via you just, Direct. You just use these hooks. Because they sit right inside this groove. Easy cheese, but they go into drywall. Those are the easiest. Mm hmm They really are. And I love pouring on those things. That's yeah. Cool. They're one of my faves to pour on. Did Mr. D ever clarify what? Monkey hooks. Thank you. Thank what? you, Joe Fish. Hmm? Did Mr. D ever clarify what you asked her about the favorite thing that we didn't get? No. Oh. Well, you Yeah, the monkey hooks are rock for drywall. If you've got the cradle boards. <laughs> Look, you guys, I'm wearing a new apron today. Poor artist like it messy. <laughs> it's like Jack Norman's on her though, because she's <laughs> artist till death. So Dot little. <laughs> Dot com. I needed one. I was ruining all my my shorts and shirts <laughs> while I was going into the shop. Um, excuse me. <laughs> I mean the garage. Mm -hmm. well, not your shop. Yeah, I broke down and bought an apron. What I have is gallery canvas triptych being 14 inches long, and the first width is 2 inches, next is 16 inches, followed by another 2 inch piece. Karen says that's cute, Carrie. Won't be new for long, <laughs> Carol says. <laughs> Not with my wife, that's for sure. Pretty rough on things. <laughs> I got she likes breaking them in real quick. I got mad when I got some white on a new pair of dickies that I was able to get into after a while that I hadn't been able to get into in a long time. White paint on my black dickies. Super sad day. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to measure, uh, I would measure up from the floor. And then measure down from the canvas where you screwed in your leveler. Where you screwed in your hangman piece, but it's got to be the same on each one. Now you can even draw a, a light pencil line. Sharon says she's loving how you're literally painting with resin scarlet. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with what feels right to me at this point. 
in this space. It's fun. <laughs> it feels good. Yeah. It feels good. So good. Joe says there are eight more coasters taped. Phew. Two more oh, days. I thought she meant eight more. I just left. I was like, dang, that was fast. Eight more coasters taped. Phew. Three more days of taping for what I can handle doing at a time. Oof. God bless you, Joe. Right? <laughs> So for all those new, we're doing a fire sale this Saturday, and we're gonna, our start time is between 2 and 4 p.m., but to get it even more closer accurate, make sure you go to my description box and friend request me on the Facebook links, follow me, so that way you can know, because every day I post right before, you know, we're setting up, which means we're going live right, right after, so it gives you a better range um, to help with that so um, but yeah come join come be merry come by stop by say hello support Measure up from the floor, draw a line, draw, draw a line across that, and level, see if you've got that line level. But then you, you need to make sure your hangers on the back are level on your pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. And if you get into a real problem, call a sign guy and get some help for hanging them. The sign guys are great. Just a local sign company. If it's that, if it's a commission or something like that and it really needs to be dead on, don't hesitate to call a sign company. not easy leveling and lining up all three of those pieces. Joe Fish says, we have a business in town called The Sign Guy. Yep, we've got one too. Sure thing, Ann. I hope it works out. Nothing like drilling a million holes. Mm -hmm. I know it's not fun. But there's no shame in calling somebody else to do the install. Oh. I'm just adding all, I'm making another batch of Golden Beach. Hi, Allie Grant. So I can mix it, intermix it with the old gold, which is this color. This is Golden Beach, and this color is a sequoia mixed in with 
this golden beach and that made that shade. Allie, we're doing an ocean pour. Scarlet starting with the sand part of it first. Mm -hmm. The beach part of it first, I should say. Yeah. It's going to contain beach, sky, and ocean. And Carol's asking me, Carrie, did you go into rehab after knee operation and actually stay there? No, I did not. I went home mm -hmm. and was on IV at home. Remember, she had that infection, so it was a different process. Yeah. She didn't have a full knee replacement because hers was infected. So she had to remove it. She had out the cement antibiotic spacer in her leg for a few months. So she didn't have any and then had to get that infection killed before um, before she could get the new knee replacement. That's great, Penny. Thanks. It's getting there. Anne says that beach is going to be gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you, Leanne. Hey, so Jen. Hi. Yeah, so I just want to be able to um, Jen saying, hey y'all, just back from visiting my father-in-law, his second knee replacement done yesterday. Oh. Tomorrow is my father-in-law's brother's wake, so not sticking around for too long. It's been a bad week, y'all. We've been praying for you, Jen. Yeah, I'm sorry, Miss Jen. If they want you to go in, Carol, do it. Do as much rehab as you possibly can. Yeah, that would be nice. Our uh, neighbor had to do that. He had a, a spine fusion I believe and uh, they, he went to home to heal but it ended up being better for him to do instead because that was his original but to make sure he stayed on top of that physical therapy which it would have been nice if you could have done that so I would have been feeling like you would have got more yeah she's saying Dia swelling and bruising yeah whatever they suggest I mean do it yeah I was told yesterday I need to get a leg stretcher because I can't my leg's bending more than it should. Is bending or isn't bending as much? Is is not straightening. There you go. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> it's bending. I'm like, more than it should. What do you mean? Um, Jen says, Friday's a funeral, intermittent of his ashes. My uncle uh, was such a great man, hated everyone except me. I'm having a hard time with the loss. Oh, I'm so sorry, Jen. <laughs> so you're the special one. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. My second bout with chemo is Friday, full dose this time, so I suspect I might lose my hair this time. Who's that? Jen. Oh. Well, hopefully you're knitting yourself some really cool hat caps to keep your head warm, especially as we're going into winter. It'll grow back. That's just hair. Mine's falling out. Yours is not going to grow back. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. I'm not going to take biotin. <laughs> the way you said that was so country. Biotin. Biotin. <laughs> it's Jen says, thank you so much, y'all. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer. My, meh. Life is crazy for all of us. Yeah. Karen says, sending you good thoughts and prayers, Jen. Death, illness, surgeries, mine didn't fall out the first go around, but it was half doses and I reacted badly. Well, we love you, Jen. Yeah, we're praying for you. Hair or no hair, <laughs> we love you.
But I'm sorry you're going through some rough times. Does Saskia ever show up or? Uh uh. And the lenders? Hmm. Dora says, want a distraction, Jen? Go watch today's video I posted and laugh your butt off. <laughs> just stay here and hang out with us. <laughs> yeah, you can just chat with us. Uh huh, Jen, yes, I get that. They definitely fill you up with those, plus, send you home with a bag of them. Judy says, yeah, Jen, we're always in your corner. Scarlett's got enough hair for everybody. <laughs> yeah. I try to donate. Uh, I, well, I always donate to Locks of Love when I don't die, which I had for years and years and years. But I try to see if my girlfriend of mine who's going through battling breast cancer could get specifically my hair in a wig for herself and they don't do it they don't do that unfortunately you can't like specifically do your they have to go through you know treatment process and all that stuff so I was a little bummed that I couldn't like hand pick but you know you can't you gotta go buy what the doctor says because you don't get sick no problem Jen I just shoot them out there and if you show up we're blessed if you don't, I know something's going on. Our life. Yeah. It's just to keep in the habit for us on who to give it to, you know? To remember, otherwise we forget. Well. Hey, Mary Mac. She says, I usually miss live videos, but just popped up. But this just popped up. Uh, looks like it'll be an amazing piece. Also, sorry to hear about things, Jen. Oh, and by the way, if you are not sus subscribed to Doris, she is our pay it forward today. Paint. 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 Paint it forward 2019. Paint it forward 2019. So click on her click on her little red DF there and jump over and subscribe. We're trying to get her over 800 subscribers. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Okay. <laughs> yes, this is the beach part. This is the sand. This is the sand part of the ocean pour. Mm -hmm gonna be the first layer is gonna be a three-part process so but you know I'm just gonna do what feels right for myself I've only done one other beach pour and that was a collaboration I did with uh, Just Paints Petra and um, and I had to do specific color scheme we with that collab so I get to do whatever colors I want to do in this one, and I thought I'm going to try, because I always wanted to do a beach pour, but I never, I just never tried, and then I learned a lot from that one, <laughs> and uh, struggled a ton, so I figured I'm not going to give myself this huge headache, and I'm going to do it in three parts, even if it's you know, a longer process, but this is what I would do if I wasn't all my life. I'd do the same thing. So it allows people to see it done differently and understand that, um, you know, it is, art is a process, and uh, especially with resin. So um, this isn't going to be like super easy cheese quick because that's just not resin anyway. But I mean, if you get resin, like I said, that was faster to do then for sure like quick coat you know like or something that would coat set up quicker then you could you know do it quicker but I know I wanted to do shading and different things so hey Kate hi Kate hi
Well, that's why I cut my hair off because it was all dead and falling out from the infection. From the infection and all the uh, antibiotics I've been on, it was just looking rough. My hairstylist thought I looked crazy when I walked in. <laughs> That's okay, baby. You went through a lot. And you survived. You pushed through and persevered. Try to mix it a little. I feel like pop some of those bubbles. Yeah, I feel the same way, Jen. I was completely gray. Well, when did I turn gray? Really early. Like 30? Like late 20s. Yeah, like 30, I was completely gray. I so. think you were gray, yeah, but you were start like late 20s. Super lucky, gray. Diane. <laughs> Who's Diane? Diane's got four gray hairs and 44. Jen's <laughs> <laughs> why I hate your guts. Aww. <laughs> well, people are blessed. You're, you're unfortunately got your daddy's fight because your mom was, took forever until she went, you know, gray and white. But your daddy was like 18 <laughs> of a full set of white hair or gray hair, so. Now it's white. Brittany Gunter. Hi, Brittany. Hi. Hi, Brittany. Doris, you have gorgeous silver. Don't ever change it. Mm -hmm. Mary Mac wants to know what color you're spreading there. This is the Sequoia. These are by Just Paint. It's their pigment line. And the, there's a description box below is uh, the two links. There's two separate. There's one for Europe and all the rest of the world. And then there's a Canada and U.S. one. So... Um, but this part is the ground where it's darker where the water hits it. And um, so the wave comes up to, this is the shoreline, right? But this is like the wet of the shoreline sand. So when the wave comes over and breaks, you'll, it, you can see through, hopefully, that's the idea, <laughs> of the darker wet sand. Bye, Carol. Get some rest. Elevate. That's a great idea. Oh, she.
And there's like footprints going through this part and little footy print, print patches it seems like with a big pole. But we'll get there. Maybe two. <laughs> we'll see if I want to add that or not. Let's see it walking. I'll show you if I can clean my hands. All right, so just want to show you this is what I'm doing it off of for this picture. So, this is the sand part I'm working on. And then you're going to have to, I can't, can you turn it? Ugh, there. <laughs> I can't get the cord. And this is the water part. And then up there is the sky. So, as you see on here, I drew a little uh, pencil line to help me. Oops. Sorry, hold on. Bear with me. So I drew a little pencil line to help me separate the skyline. Um, and then, oops, baby. Yes. Um, you can kind of see that pencil line in there underneath, so that way I know where when I do the next layer on top of here to make that raised little sandbars and this dark part will go underneath the the wet of the sand basically underneath the wave and then right where this part is is basically the shoreline and then I just got some golden highlights uh, spots and some of the the shore so you know It'll be that, hopefully. I'm just going to keep layering and adding a little bit at a time, and then I'll do the sky next, and then after the sky of that first layer, then I'll do um, yeah, the ocean. And that'll be a first pour of everything. It's just, you know, getting there. So, um, thank you, everyone. Again, this Saturday, we are doing a fire sale, so... Hopefully you can um, follow me on Facebook and um, friend request me if we aren't already friends. I always post on my wall right before I'm about to go live. I always start my lives between 2 and 4 p.m. But I do have a baby that I have to put down during that nap time frame. So I can't give you a specific, specific, but it's, I always start between 2 and 4 p.m. And um, I go live every day except for Tuesdays, unless otherwise stated, as well as I will post that on my Facebook if, like, a doctor appointment happened or something emergency-wise. Uh, please um, follow oh, my Instagram. The Facebooks are all linked below. My Etsy store, whatever I do make on here, if it's not commission, it is for sale. So if you see it, then personal message me on Facebook and ask me if it's still available or how much. Um, as well as if you'd like to help the channel, support the channel, I have an uh, Amazon wish list and a PayPal donations link as well in my description box below. So, um, yeah. And then if Miss Kate is still here. <gasps> hi, Mary. Um, <gasps> hi, Allie. Hi. Then I will tell her. I'm trying to see if it was the right Kate. I can't see it. It is Kate LeBron. Okay, yeah, I just, I wanted you to see the video, yesterday's video, Miss Kate, if you're still here, LeBrod, it's, uh, that's, that's it, and then I'm going to do another flood coat on top of that, just to give it an extra little dimension. Okay, uh, happy arting, everyone, God bless, thank you. We love Bye. you guys.